Hi, I'm going to talk about the module system, which is a session of the UpMax course. Intro to UpMax, day one. It's part of doing real work. So real work is the third part of the course. We've learned to work with visual tools like logging in to the remote desktop. We've been using the terminal and now we're going to do real work. And the first session of real work is to use modules. So I'm not going to talk you through uh, what modules are and how to walk through them. Um, how to I will do the exercises and I'll show you that you can find it in the documentation. So modules allow you to run pre-installed software that you now know after reading. And the question is, go to the UpMax documentation, then answer the question, find the list of installed software, estimate how many pieces of software are installed on RackM. So let's do this. So I go to the UpMax documentation. I'm just gonna look for the word software or software. Software modules, let's take a look at that software modules that's not it software there software it's just software all right so this is installed software I'm just going to scroll down a bit so that's quite a lot so how would i estimate this uh, well i have no idea how to estimate this i would say a couple of hundreds that's what i can do so I'll close this page. Um, to be precise, there are around 800 pieces. I think 788 last time I let this be counted. All right, so we can uh, install, we can use a lot of pre-installed software, uh, but there are also databases. So let's take a look which databases are installed for you. Up next documentation, database, overview of databases, great. And these are apparently databases that are installed. Um, this is actually more databases. For example, let's take a look at the BLAST databases. There are many more. Uh, these are, for example, some databases. Uh, so th this is already, let's say, a couple of dozens of databases for you. So that should answer the question. Um, so there are seven collections of databases, and we've already seen multiple dozens. All right, so a lot of things are pre-installed. So let's try to use it, and we're going to use it. It's using the module system. And we need to find the UpMax documentation on modules. So I'm going to go to the UpMax documentation. I type modules, software modules. Yeah, let's do that. And this is indeed about the environment module system. That's good. This is our module system. Search the module system for a tool called CAUSE to find out in which module it is installed. So for this you need to have logged in to RackHam, so I'm going to do this now. I'm going to use the terminal um, because that I, I, I like this ssh-x reshell at RackHam. Make it a bit bigger. RackHam.upmax.uu.se Password so now I am on the login node of RackM, the second login node of RackM. I'm in my home folder, my username is Richel. And I'm going to need to find, need to search the module system for a tool called Kause. All right, let's take a look at the modules. Module. Aha, search for a module. I guess that's a module. Spider cow say I need to look for cow say. All right, no error. So this seems to be nice. Let's take a look what it's saying. So the first time you use the module system, it will initialize itself, and it can take some time. Uh, it takes a couple of seconds. So I'll just. And now it is so spider is to search. So use the module system, search through it for a tool called Kause. Um And there, of course, you can put your databases or your favorite piece of software too. So it's now searching for Kause. There it is. So this is the result. So it says that this module can be loaded directly, module load Kause. So I guess if I copy paste this, I will lo load Kause. But let's take, let's go back to the exercise first. Search the module, I found it. 
load the latest version of the module for Kaose. Sure. So there's only one version, uh, version 3.3, .3, and I copy paste this, and now I have loaded the module called Kaose. You see it says nothing, which means everything is okay. To confirm Kaose works, type Kaose hello. Okay, let's do that. Kaose hello. Yeah, there's a cow saying hello, well done. Unload the module for cow say. Alright, so that's probably in the documentation. Unload, oh, that's all I unload. Module unload cow say. It says nothing, so that's okay, that's good. Back to the exercise, confirm that cow say does not work anymore. Yep, let's take a look. So I press up to get back to earlier commands, enter. Indeed, Kausei is not found anymore. So, good job! So that means I finished this exercise. Now we need to do the same thing that for a package that requires the BioInfo Tools module. Um, I need to... So this is the module you always need to type first. Uh, if you want to use Bioinformatics Tools. Uh, Kausei is a very general tool, so it's not under there. But let's um, see what happens if you forget it. So there's a tool called SAM Tools. It's a bioinformatics tool. And we're going to load it. Um, so I'm going to do module load SAM Tools. And this will give me an error. Here. These modules exist, but cannot be loaded as a request. And here it gives me the error message what I should do. And it's probably already. Do what is suggested to do, do module spider SAM tools. Is the suggestion of loading by info tools given here? So module spider SAM tools. It has no suggestion given just yet. Um, but then I'm gonna do the help about the latest version. Let's do this slash latest version is 1.20. And there you will see, you will need to load all modules on any of these lines below before the samples of that module is available to load. So here it says, dear user, load this thing first. Module load, bioinfo tools. And then I can do module load sam tools. Sam, oh, yep, sam tools 1.20. And now I have SAM tools available. I don't know uh, how, how to... Yes, yeah, sure, there it is. Alright, so that was already the last exercise. So I've showed you how to use the module system on Rackham. I've used the terminal, but you could use the remote desktop too. Um, I wish you a very good day. Bye!